In July of 2015, a seasoned safari guide named Paul, a man who had spent decades guiding tourists through the wilds of Zimbabwe, had an encounter with one of Africa's most dangerous animals, the Cape Buffalo. Paul was no ordinary guide. He was a deeply experienced tracker and outdoorsman who knew the African bush like the back of his hand. Tall, rugged, with a quiet confidence, Paul had a deep respect for the creatures he encountered. He had survived run-ins with lions, elephants, and snakes, but the Cape Buffalo, often nicknamed the Black Death, was a different beast altogether. On this fateful day, Paul and a group of tourists were trekking through the thick brush of the Zambezi Valley, a region known for its dense wildlife and treacherous terrain. The Cape Buffalo is infamous for its unpredictability. When wounded, it doesn't flee, it charges. And Paul knew this all too well. As they ventured deeper into the bush, they came across a Cape Buffalo. It was wounded, likely from a previous encounter with hunters, and that's where the trouble began. The animal's eyes, filled with rage and pain, locked onto Paul. Before anyone could react, the buffalo charged with incredible speed. Paul's instincts kicked in, but not fast enough. The buffalo rammed into him with full force, its massive horns tearing through his body. His ribs cracked under the pressure, and the animal tossed him like a rag doll, trampling him. Blood poured from his mouth as his lung collapsed under the weight of the beast. But Paul didn't scream. He didn't panic. Years of experience had taught him that in moments like these, the only way to survive was to stay calm. With what little strength he had left, Paul reached for his rifle. His vision blurred, pain searing through his body, but he steadied his hand and fired a shot. The bullet struck true, and the buffalo staggered, finally collapsing. Paul lay there, barely conscious, with blood filling his lungs and pain radiating through his body. But he had survived. The tourists, frozen in shock, rushed to his side, calling for help. Paul was flown to a hospital where he underwent emergency surgery to repair his crushed ribs and punctured lung. Against all odds, he pulled through, but the encounter left him with scars that would never fade. Paul would later say that the buffalo was the closest he had ever come to death, despite a life filled with dangerous animals.